Hello friends, how are you? My name is uh, Rizwan Afiz and uh, today we are going to start another series of lecture explaining about the viruses. Uh, in today's video, I will explain about introduction of virus, I will explain about uh, discovery of virus and then we will talk about general structure and then we will talk about the uh, classification of virus. Uh, in the later videos, uh, we will talk about uh, uh, different types, different uh, classes of virus in detail and we will talk about their replicating cycles as well. We will also talk about the uh, immune response to the viruses and at the end uh, we will talk about the different kind of diseases that can be caused by the uh, viruses. Well, let's move toward the introduction. As we know that viruses are basically sub microscopic particles and their size range from 20 to uh, 20 to approximately 900 20 to 900 uh, nanometer so it means they can be approximately 100 time more smaller than the uh, bacteria okay well uh, viruses are not considered as living organism as we know that they can replicate they can make their copies but still they are not classified as a living organism instead they are called as pseudo alive they are called as pseudo alive. Pseudo alive. It means yes, they can replicate, they can make their copies, but for doing this, they need a living cell. They need a living host cell for replication and for making their copies. And that host cell can be of uh, animal cell. That can that that host cell can be a plant cell. That host can uh, host cell can be a bacteria so it means viruses can infect approximately all type of life present on the earth well if we talk about the uh, discovery of virus the discovery of virus basically taken place after a discovery of very important uh, filter uh, known as chamberlain pasture filter Chamberlain pasture filter also called as porcelain filter after the discovery of this filter the discovery of virus uh, took place how because this is a filter that can remove approximately all the possible bacteria it can filter out it can remove all the bacteria from a solution so in 1886 there was a disease uh, disease of a tobacco plant, you must be aware of it, called as tobacco mosaic disease. At that time, initially it was thought that this disease is basically caused by the bacteria. Because at that time, viruses have not been yet discovered. Okay, for example, this is a tobacco uh, plant. And this plant is basically suffering from a tobacco mosaic disease. So in 1886, a very interesting experiment was done. What they did, what scientists did, they took ex extract of this plant, they took extract of this plant and they gave, they gave this extract to the healthy plant, to the healthy plant. Now this is a healthy plant. And what did they see? They saw that the healthy plant also developed tobacco mosaic uh, disease healthy plant also developed tobacco mosaic disease after this healthy plant was exposed to the extract of extract of this disease plant okay now in 1992 another very interesting experiment was done what they did this time yes they again exposed a healthy plant they again exposed a uh, healthy plant to the extract of this disease plant. Okay, but this time they made a little bit change. What did they do? This extract was first passed through this chamber and pasture filter. This chamber and pasture filter. And as I have said that this chamberlain pasture filter can remove approximately all the bacteria. Can remove approximately all the bacteria. So after passing this extract from the uh, 
चैम्बरलैन पॉस्चर फिल्टर द फिल्ट्रेट वॉज अगेन गिवन टू दिस हेल्दी प्लांट एंड दिस हेल्दी प्लांट अगेन डिवेलप टबाकू मोजेक डिजीज नाउ वी नो डैट दिस फिल्टर कैन रिमूव अप्रोक्सीमेटली ऑल द बैक्टेरियाज इट मीन ऑल द बैक्टेरियाज फ्रॉम दिस एक्सट्रैक्ट हैज बिन रिमूव नाउ साइंटिस्ट स्टार्ट थिंकिंग अबाउट इट लाइक अदर देन बैक्टेरिया देर आर स्टिल सम डिजीज कॉजिंग पार्टिकल्स सम वेरी टाइनी डिजीज कॉजिंग पार्टिकल एंड लेटर ऑन दे कॉल दीज डिजीज कॉजिंग पार्टिकल एज वायरसेज एंड आफ्टर द डिस्कवरी ऑफ माइक्रोस्कोपी सॉरी आफ्टर द डिस्कवरी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन माइक्रोस्कोप वी स्टडी द डिटेल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ टबाकूमोजिक वायरस सो दिस इज द वे इन विच वायरस इज वाय discovered okay now if we talk about the general structure of virus we will get to know that virus are basically made up of mostly two things or sometimes it is made up of three things dna protein and an envelope okay it's a small particle that is made up of uh, not only dna it, uh, we can say it's made up of genome genome so it is made up of genome that can be a dna or it can be RNA. In some time, this genome can be DNA, or in some viruses, this genome can be RNA viruses. The viruses having DNA as a genome will be called as DNA viruses, and the viruses having RNA as a genome they will be called as RNA viruses. So basically, different types of virus. I will talk about the detail when I will talk about the classification of viruses. Okay. So the first thing is genome, and this genome is packed in a protein coating, protein layer. is completely packed in a protein coating okay and this protein coating and protein layer is called as capsid capsid this capsid is made up of small units obviously this is a huge uh, polymer and it's made up of small monomer small units and those monomer are basically called as capsomers capsomers okay so what we talk that uh, a virus is generally made up of a genome that can, it can be a dna or it can be rna and it is this genome is packed in covered uh, covered by a uh, protein layer called as capsid and this capsid is made up of small units called as capsomers outside of the cap, uh, capsid in some bacteria not all the bacteria in some bacteria an additional outer layer is present additional outer layer is present and that outer layer is made up of lipid bilayer it is made up of lipid bilayer okay and this lipid bilayer having some glycoproteins present over it lipid bilayer having some glycoproteins also called as spike protein present over it is called as envelope it this layer will be called as envelope and all the viruses who will be having this outer layer they will be called as enveloped viruses and the viruses as I, as i have said that it's not compulsory that this envelope will be present in all the viruses there are certain viruses who will not be having this uh, outer layer or outer coating they will be called as non enveloped viruses or they will be called as naked viruses naked viruses or non enveloped viruses non enveloped viruses okay now let's talk about the uh, okay now uh, let me tell you about the these uh, glycoproteins these glycoproteins what's the role of these glycoprotein well this envelope I, as i have said that it is made up of lipid bilayer so they mostly Uh, most of the virus get this layer uh, from the host uh, cell from the plasma membrane of host cell okay when they will bud off from the host cell they will get this additional uh, outer layer called as envelope and this is the reason it is made up of phospholipid uh, bilayer membrane and the uh, glycoproteins that are present over the uh, envelope they are basically used for the attachment on the host cell they will they will be used for the attachment and the penetration into the host cell as we, as we know that Uh, each viruses each 
virus has a specific host okay so uh, the host range of viruses is very small host range of viruses is very small it, it's not like they can uh, one virus can infect all type of uh, uh, life or one uh, uh, virus uh, can infect all the cell present in a uh, animal for example if it is animal virus no it, it it does not happen like this for example as we know that coronavirus it will infect only pneumocytes why this why the viruses have very short uh, host range the point is because these spike proteins that are present over the envelope of viruses and these spike proteins are basically used for the attachment on the host cell for the attachment these spike protein or these gly uh, glycoproteins they need a specific receptor protein on the host cell as well on the host cell as well for example uh, if i talk about the coronavirus the these spike protein they will attach an ace2 receptors present on the host cell so obviously they will in get uh, attach or they will get enter into only those cells who will be having ace2 receptor ace2 receptors okay it will not infect uh, other cells who, who are not having who are lacking ace2 receptor so this is the reason that most of the viruses are very short have have, have very short host host range okay similarly if we talk about aids virus it will infect only uh, cd4 cell and it will attach on the cck receptor present on the uh, cd4 plus cells or helper cell with the help of these receptor these glycoproteins uh, because these glycoproteins of aids virus they are very specific to, to cck receptor okay so it means viruses are very specific in term of their host okay it's not like that one virus will get entered into the body and it will infect almost all the cells no it, it does not happen like this okay now now let's talk about the uh, classification of viruses 